Hello, this is Greg. Uh, today I'm going to do a little review on a digital multimeter. It is the uh, Zoe ZT-102L. I purchased it because it will do inductors. Um, let me see, can I get a closer view on this? Look at that, that's beautiful. Uh, the L is for inductance. On the kits that I put together, sometimes they have inductors and I just have to trust that they work because I had no way to test them. I want to see how this does. It came uh, inside of a cardboard box, inside of this box, inside of this bag. It was nicely packed. Um, has uh, directions in English. And uh, so if you're from somewhere else, and it, I think there are in other things too. This is, I purchased it through TMU right here right now it's on sale at uh, fourteen dollars and twenty four cents so if you're interested this is where I uh, found it or here's the information if you want to look someplace else Aliexpress if you're overseas seems to be good I I don't have a lot of luck with them so let's see how it works I've already put the bag came with double-a batteries it came with a uh, probe uh, Temperature, <laughs> let me get it up here where you can see it. The temperature probe and uh, this type of leads, um, 10 amp. So now for inductance, I have these little shorties because the leads will uh, add to it. So anyway, let's get started. Let's see how this thing works. I'm just going to go straight over to inductance. Uh, see what it does with their leads. Where are my inductors? Right here. I have a little, uh, let's put these over here. Can we see those? Let's go to about some 15 on the zoom. How does that look? Gives a little more room. Okay. This one says 470 UH. So let's take this and stick it to it. And it re it'll take a second. It says 380 mH. Okay, let's see if we change. I don't know what the percentage of loss is. Let's see if we put these guys in here and see what this does. Ooh. This is just to take the glare off this holder. It doesn't. It's for my thermal camera. It doesn't uh, fit right, but it does fit. So this one has clips. Um, about the same. Let's try another one. Let's try one on this side. Three eighty six, three eighty. Okay. Well, all right, let's try, uh, that was a 470, here's a 150. UH. 115, but it still says MH down here. Do I need to uh, select? No because it's automatic. Anyway, it does give me a reading. All right, let me see. Do I have something that is... Uh... Yeah, these are all pretty close. Here's a 100. I just made a giant mess out of my box. And it says 81. I wonder if this is just how high it will read and the point gives you the UH. I wish it would say UH. It doesn't say anything when you take it off, does it? No, it just says H. Okay, it gives me a reading. So if I have an inductor I need to test, I think that will do it. Let's see what it does on other stuff. 
Um, I'm going to leave these clips in it. Let's try a capacitor. I have a little bag here. Move them over in here so you can see me make a giant mess. And here we go. Oh, let's go to, uh, let me see. Capacitance here. There we go, right there. NF. Eh, it's not super quick, but it's not slow. So that says 45 UF. And it is a 47. So, okay. What's this one here? This is a 470. Five oh three. Yeah. I have other ones that are way slower than this. Um do I have something that's like really big? Three hundred and thirty. All right, let's try something real small then. Twenty-two. Where's that two point two? Jeez, I'll need the two point two. And I would not use this to do this type of to test my capacitors. I just want to see if it works. I have a capacitor tester for it. Oh, look at that, 2.2. Jeez, that's nice. Okay, well, I'm satisfied with that. Let's move on to uh, some diodes. This is a 4.7 volt Zena. So if I, uh, this way, sh oh, and uh, let's go to diode. Diode. 738, yes. It open, okay, so good. Here's just a uh, standard diode. Let's get one of these big fat ones out here. Easy to grab onto. Oh, this must be shot key, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's good. And backwards, open, excellent. How about an LED or a, um, yeah, diode? I always like testing the LEDs because you get a light. So yes, what else can I test on this really quick? Um, since I'm doing it, let's do the temperature. Let's see how this works out. Oh, come here. 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 Oh, and the diode didn't beep. So no beep on the diode. If that's important to you, this is not for you. Temperature. And then select... Um, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Excellent. It's only 62 degrees in here. So that works. Perfect. Moving on. What else can we do here? Oh, it has the uh, in the wall thing. Let's go back up to one on this. And uh, boy, do I have anything with a uh, well, here. You can hear it, but you can't see it. Ah, right here. There's my... Uh... No? Come on, I know that power cord's on.
Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't, uh, it's not going to read that one. It reads over here. Down here. Doesn't have a lot of range. It works. It does what it says it's supposed to do. Um, now, on this one for, uh, let's see, let's just try plugging it into the 110 and see how it does. Make sure we get the probes in the right way. Um, we've got, uh, this is what I'm looking at right here. This is uh, AC volts. This is millivolts. I'm on DC right now, so we'll select AC and turn on my bar, and we get 124 volts. Okay. Oops, it's stuck in there. <clears throat> gotcha. And then... Uh, how about some DC volts? What do we got for that? Hertz. DC. Excellent. Yeah. Everything seems to function on this nicely. Um, let's go just straight to continuity. Uh, that's not great, but I have found that lots of times that is not anything to do with the meter. It has to do with the probes. Let's try with, oh boy, definitely have to make a holder for this if I'm going to use it a lot. Let's try these. Oh yeah, see that? But I, I think that's the difference in between $14 and probably uh whatever what was it before 33 they probably had to uh they had to save the money someplace so it was probably in these probes maybe i don't know i have no idea i'm not affiliated with them in any manner but that's nice yeah so excellent but it does not beep oh and another thing too i just saw this right here it has a backlight. That's nice. Um, continuity. And the diode doesn't, yeah, no beep. So, not even if it's short. So anyway, that is the little meter. Um, I'm not gonna do any of the amp tests because I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not set up for it right now. Um, I probably could hook up a battery. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's light. If you leave it on, it'll stay. Oh, no, it has an auto. It says right there. I was just going to say it has auto power off. So I'd have been wrong there. Um, yeah, I'll put the device that goes in there back in there. So yeah, overall, I think that, uh, I have something that will at least give me an indication of whether an inductor um, is inducting or not. So, for $15, I'm putting it in my drawer. I hope this helped you make a decision one way or another. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.